Hey there, Luke Callahan here, your Oregon Realtor. Today we're checking out another home in the Rolling Meadows development built by Holt Homes in Junction City, Oregon. Let me know what you think of it. If you have any comments, questions, leave them in the comment section below. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, let's see what this beautiful home has to offer. To our left, we've got the office. A wonderful place to work. And one of the nice things about having an office that faces north, so this window faces north, is that you're not getting blinded by that southern sun. And instead, you actually get the reflection of light off these homes over here. So you end up getting quite a kind of a perfect working light with this north facing office. And again, you get to keep an eye on what's happening in the neighborhood while you're working. And if you want to, you got a whole gaggle of kids. You can get rid of the desk and put seven bunk beds in here and, and bring all the kids in, whatever you want to do. To the left, we have our first bathroom. Beautiful tiled floors. I love the simple inset one piece shower. Easy to clean, no grout lines. Nice big spacious, about three by five shower pan. Nice toilet, simple, good, sturdy cabinets. You can see plywood box construction. Doesn't have the soft clothes. Again, this is the economy. So this is the, basically, get you a beautiful solid home with, with few bells and whistles and just the beauty of this layout in the solid home. But gosh, look at these countertops and this, this kitchen layout is quite nice. You got access for the pantry and kind of your, your workflow, whether it's coming from the fridge or the pantry to the gas stove, to the bellies, to the sink, to clean up. It's clockwise and it's just, there's a nice big walk space between these, the island and the, the range cabinets. So plenty of people can be here. And the nice thing is when you're here cooking, you're engaged with everybody. So you got people eating, relaxing, and you're here hosting in the mix, not toiling away behind closed doors. Let's check out the main bedroom. We've got a wonderful big space here. These ficus plants are everywhere and I love them. Nice big space. Got the soffit ceiling detail, which is really, really nice. Big walk-in closet over there we'll get to in a second. And then we have the bathroom with these dual sinks. And we've got this beautiful soaking tub. What a nice space. And then we've got Le toilet, somebody left the seat up for me, which I'm very appreciative of. And again, another nice big shower. Good, big functional space in here. Let's check out our walk-in closet here. Man, some people call this a closet. Some people call this another room of bunk beds. Just saying, you got 12 kids, this house can do it. Okay, let's see what else is happening. Speaking of kids, the folks are on the main level that don't like the stairs. The ones who have way too much energy and off the walls I can climb these stairs for days and see what's happening upstairs for them. It's chirping at us. Okay, again, dual sinks. So nice. No rush hour when you're brushing your teeth. Nice toilet, nice. I like this flooring a lot. And again, nice, simple shower, easy to clean. Let's see what's happening in our linen closet. Everything's stored tidy, nice in here. This paint scheme's fun. Okay, let's go across to the left. Ooh, who likes a narwhal? That's right, and sea creatures. Nice, nice size. Space, and you know the best part of this? Whoop. Secret access panel. You never know when you need to get to Narnia, but it's always good if you have a door to get there. 
Anyways, we got a nice, nice, nice little table that makes you feel like a giant. Or you could put appropriately sized humans in it, whatever you prefer. And off this room, we have a shared closet. What a nice use of space. Not, <laughs> not a shared closet. We've got access to the furnace. Okay. So if you're training your children to be furnace techs, what better way than a live-in apprenticeship? And again, you can tell a lot about the quality of a home by the craftsmanship that's going on. Uh, if, if a space like this is neat and tidy and well thought out and organized. So, okay, down the stairs we go. What a nice view to come to in the morning. Got somebody making you breakfast, you slept in, you're still wearing your jammies. And you get to go sit on the cozy couch, maybe watch a couple cartoons, eat some fruit, and we'll get some beautiful light coming in the south side here. This is facing south. So you get the best light and then, yeah, you have a house close by, but you know what? You're still gonna get wonderful eastern light and southern light coming through these two windows. And this breakfast dinner nook is just perfect, very well lit. I'm a fan of this house. I am a fan. Nice laundry space. You can put all your shelving in here. Another nice closet to come in. This kind of acts as your mud room, this little foyer, because the garage is right in front of us. Throw stuff in the dirty laundry. Grab your coat upon exit. And I'll show you the garage another time. All right, what'd you think of this home? Here I am in the kitchen. I like this space. I like the vaulted ceiling. We've got a probably 13 foot vaulted ceiling. This is a really nicely designed home in that it's it's not huge, but it feels big. Very economical use of space. You've got the two bedrooms upstairs. You got the study down here, the master suite. This is like, this is a very, very economical home. Super good productive kitchen. You've got your pantry. Your stove. I mean, this is the heart of the home. Everything's happening here. And from there, you have the study, you have the garage, you have the laundry. Upstairs, you have the two extra bedrooms. But you can feel like the actions here, great southern exposure, good finishes in here. This is a good, solid home to raise up. Whatever you got, you got guests coming, you gotta feed them, you got kids. All right, let me know what you think. Hit the like or subscribe button. Or hit them both, why not? And let me know what other homes you want to see. Um, yeah, let me know. Okay, talk to you soon.